Hey, Lintz from Foundling Studio here. I'm showing this groovy vest. Check out the piping. I'm making three little suits and one of them, I can't find the right piping. So I'm gonna try today to do my own, make my own piping. This is a pant suit I'm working on currently. This one is gonna be very 70s. Stripes and brown velvet and accents that are this flowered pattern. And so piping for this, I couldn't find anything that was just right. So we're gonna use this fabric right here. All right, so one of the ideas that was given to me to use some ready-made piping and just sew another cover over it. It sounds a little bit sneaky. Of course, I like that. So I think this is how wide, one and a quarter. I sewed all of these strips together. They're on the bias, they're nice and stretchy. So it will start like that. This is my piping foot. There's like this groove here that sits like this. Something is wrong here. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I don't think this fits on here. So I finally got this foot on and um, I had to like this whole part up here didn't come with the attachment so I had to take like this tiny little rod out of here and take this apart and put this on here and then put the rod back in here. This is really working. You know I saw this online you know how you see something online and it's all awesome and then you try it yourself and it doesn't work. I don't even have to keep anything in place it's just doing it all for me. Yeah, so this is awesome. Hot damn. Oh, I spoke too soon, my thread just broke. Here I am sewing away, saying how great this is, and then I look on the other side, and I have this. All right, I think I've got it fixed. I just had to change the tension a little bit. Okay. Back. The thread broke twice. I re-threaded everything, the top and the bottom, and we are back in action. If we can just finish this unscathed, then I'll go to bed. <sighs> Let's see if we can get there. Let's see what's going on under here. Looks okay. And it's beautiful. It's exactly what I wanted. It's going to match the pantsuit perfectly. Um, the hardest part was putting the foot on. Then the tension was a bit goofy. But once I had that all figured out, it just worked like a dream. And hopefully Donna will be ready to sew for me tomorrow. I'm gonna show you the results. First thing you're gonna notice is the piping we made is not actually on. On here. Um, I showed Donna the piping and she said, why did you sew fabric over a ready-made piping so maybe not as sneaky as I thought it was because she said um, it's too stiff to go around the corners so we ended up using this stuff instead see and then I added like a little bit of uh, teal stitching to tie it all together and I still love it here's the whole suit so when I wear it, there's a bit of room for a shirt underneath. So this is another way you could wear it. 